good morning on this rainy day here in Little Rock. Um, gonna make sure I'm trying to get on here where I can see comments as we go a little bit at a time. And I may be a few minutes late, but as usual, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So, uh, I believe that is it right there. And I will first introduce myself. I am Renee Holder of Two Chatty Chicks, and um, I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I am at three different locations. I am in Mall Mail at uh, Hometown Country. And I am also at Midtown Vintage Market in Little Rock on North Rodney Parham, uh, 105. No, yes, 105 North Rodney Parham. And I'm teaching at Southern Studios at 323 Cross Street. So go hop over to Southern Studios page, give them a like, and uh, that way you can keep up with uh, what events we're going to be doing and what we're going to be teaching. Uh, also hop over to Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint, uh, her main page, and uh, like her page, and follow her events. There's a lot of education going on over there, a lot of live videos. In fact, that's what I'm going to be finishing up today. This was done using Miss Lillian's um, Metal Smith products. And I just think he is just the coolest thing. And I finally got the knobs done and all glued in. And we're going to be dressing him up. And then this is the book that I did. And as you can see, that literally looks like pure rust. And you could just flick it off in flakes. Uh, very cool. We're going to be dressing that up and doing a little mixed media. And then this is the canvas that was created as well. And then I done a stencil and used gilding jewels to do the stenciling in. And this was also done with the metalsmith. Um, great product. If you want to learn how uh, this was created, you can uh, scroll down on my page and there's a video there that will show you how to do all of that. And I hope that I you can't hear the rain because it is literally pouring down. I thought it would be kind of nice to have the garage door open. Um, but I do. I really love how he turned out. So I'm going to be adding some molds and some flowers. And I know a lot of y'all have already seen how I do the molds, but for those that haven't, um, This is the product that I use. It is amazing. Uh, if you would like to order this from me, I sell it for $14.95, or you can get it at Hobby Lobby. And I don't know. Someone had said that they can't use the 40% off coupon. I haven't tried lately. But this is what I use to make my molds, or I carry the clay as well. And I really like this. This is made by Prima. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to do the amazing because it's pretty quick. It sets up in about 10 minutes. And um, let me turn this down where y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I'll be able to catch up because this is a little lag behind. But whenever you're mixing... The amazing, you just want to do equal parts. And you always want to make sure you get the correct lid on the right, right jar. Okay, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to mix them together. And you want to make sure... Whenever you start, whoops, whenever you start stirring, it's going to be a little cloudy. And then once you see that it has cleared up and you can see the bottom, you know it's ready to pour. Get that up because I don't want to slide my mold over in that. And then you just pour it into your mold and it starts out clear and it will start turning white. And then you will know 
in about 10 minutes you can pop it out and you're ready to go and I let them cool and then I will usually take uh, and spray paint them black and then I use my gilding jewels I'll kind of leave that sitting right there I hope my table is level But as you can see, this is about the color that I usually start with. And sometimes I will use powder pigments in my amazing as well if I want to try something a little different. So I'm kind of thinking that may be leaning just a tad right there. So I'm going to go ahead and push that back so that we can go ahead and start dressing him up want to make sure that y'all can see this all right there we go so um, I thought about these are wood flowers and you can paint them and what you do is you're going to soak them with water and then you can kind of push them down and you can tip the edges with any color of paint it's uh, very easy to do but I kind of did something a little different this morning is I'll kind of scoot this back and show you because I don't want to get spray paint on my horse head. Is I sprayed it with water and then I took spray paint and I just, I know what I'm fixing, I'm fixing to get that on my hand, but that's okay. Oh man, that rain is horrid, y'all. and then I'm going to kind of let that sit for just a second and I kind of wanted to do something a little different so I took a chip brush and I just kind of hit it just a little before it dried and see how it's kind of pulling that back and making it old looking so I'm going to leave it like that, and if I wanted to pull off a little more, I could squirt some more water on it, just like that. And you can kind of see that that's pulling that off. And it just depends on the look that you want. So I, I kind of like that. It's the chippy, kind of the uh, beachy look, actually. So this is what I ended up with, and I really liked how it turned out, and in fact, I even liked that one. So I may end up going with both of those, or I did one a little different. I took and I sprayed, I sprayed it with water, and then I sprayed very lightly the uh, spray paint on it, and then I took a plate. Let me get one and show you. And then I took gold spray paint like this. Hey, Joy, how are you? Sherry, I'm telling you, um, I've I'm, I'm been busy the last couple of days for sure, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I took the gold, and I'm going to spray that. And it, it dries pretty quick, so you got to be kind of quick. And then I just tipped the edges, and I just kind of kept turning it. And see, look, isn't that cool? It's just a different way to uh, add a finish to them. Because this is kind of what they look like without any color on them. But they're very easy to do. You just, ooh, that uh, spray paint was strong. Wow. But I really like that. And see, you can see the mold let me scoot this back over so that y'all can see that. You can see how the mold is turning white. And probably about eight more minutes, that'll be ready to pop right out and, and use it. But I wanted y'all that haven't seen that to be able to know how to do that. And so that is the flowers. I really like those. I've kind of went back and forth. I'm not sure exactly, and I do that a lot. I want to change my mind sometimes. I was thinking about this, 
and then doing these on the side. But I think that may be a little bit too much. So I may stick with these two and the wood one like that. And I'll glue all of this on later. Now, what I want to do is I've already poured these and spray painted them with, uh, I used the, um, the old rub bronze. Most of the time I like the real flat. Uh, whenever I'm going to be spraying mine, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different and I am going to Two different colors of the gilding jewels copper and turquoise because I wanted to stay with the same color line that I've got So I'm going to put a little bit of copper and I just use a regular stencil brush I wanted some of the copper down in there. Then I'm coming back with the turquoise and I'm covering all of it, even the sides. And see with those two colors, it almost turned it to a gray. Now, I really want this to pop because of the copper that I have here. So I'm just gonna take my finger and I am going to do the highlighting. I really like that. So, and y'all, whenever you, I usually am in such a hurry, I do a lot of these up at a time. And this one, and you know what? It looks like I done my fingers whenever I did this, but that's my granddaughter's nail polish <laughs> that I did this morning while we was getting her ready for school. Um, is you can take, once these get hard, you can take your blow dryer and heat them and you can bend them. They're very pliable. So it's, a, you know, that way you can pour them up and then use them later. But I'm thinking about, but then that hides that. So I'm gonna move them. And I really think I like that there. And then I was thinking about placing that there, but I, that's too much. So I'm going to stick with that right there. And then I will glue these on just like that. I think that'll be pretty. But I felt like it needed something right there. They're very, hey Sarah, how are you doing? Candy. I appreciate y'all stopping in. Um, oh, they are here too, girl, here in Arkansas. They really are. And I've done this one the same as that one because I wanted the colors to stay the same. And this one I kind of heated up a minute ago. And what I'll do, the cement that I have found, I've tried everything in the world. And y'all, I hate a glue gun. For one, I get burnt and I say bad words. And um, it, whenever that glue gets uh, cold, a lot of times they'll come off. So this is what I use. It's the old, mm, the old timey glue, and it has the brush. And that stuff is truly cement. So whenever I get ready, I will take and put that on the back. I don't want to get too much, but I'll make sure I rub it in really good. And then I'll put it in place. And then I'll use Orange Core Painter's Tape to tape it in place until it dries. And sometimes if you take your hair dryer and uh, heat it up, it kind of helps to make it really tacky pretty quick. So I really like that. I hope y'all can see that on the side. So what I, and y'all, I'm gonna tell you, the reason this one is so limber is because whenever I done the mixing of the amazing, I didn't get it started up really well. But you know what? Uh, it's going to work because it's pliable. So I don't have to heat it. <laughs> so I'm going to take the copper just like I did those. And I want that copper down in them holes. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jamie. What's on your list this morning, Sarah? 
Uh, Sarah Hodge Guest is the owner of Southern Studio that I was telling y'all about at the beginning of where I teach classes. Y'all need to be sure and hop over and say hello and like her page. That way you will know what both of us are doing when we're going to be having lives, uh, when we're going to be having classes. And we kind of got an idea up our sleeve that we haven't put out yet, so y'all need to stay tuned for that. Find out what we're going to be doing. So, you know what? My list is too long this morning. <laughs> oh, honey, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Look at that. Love. That. Got to get it up close where you can see. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Because the main thing is for y'all to see what I'm going to be doing. The clock. Okay, I did that with the clay that I carry. And <clears throat> I just let it dry on its own. And I didn't tape it down because if you use the clay and I also sell this but if any of y'all want this you'll have to message me I'm out of stock on my website I can't seem to keep things in stock over there um, and whenever you use it you need to tape these down and I put them on wax paper but I wanted this one to be different and so I just let it go and I let it break and I didn't color it. All I did was use the gilding jewels and I kind of forced it down in there and it seems to be staying. But I really liked the look that it gave there, so I'm gonna leave it. And, okay. Now, something else. This is not full. And you know what, that's okay. You don't have to waste this. Uh, whenever, and this isn't either really, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out so y'all can see me pop it out. Whenever I mix up some more, I can pour the amazing in here, and you'll never know that I had didn't have enough to fill that up. And it's still a little warm, but that's okay. See, that just pops right out. Okay, I'm going to push that back down in there so that whenever I mix up some more, I can fill that in and be ready to go. But... This is how hard they are. If I tried to bend that anymore, it would break. But say I wanted to use this on something round, I would just take my dryer, heat it up, and bend it. I do a lot of jars. Jugs, as I call them. Everybody makes fun of it because I call them jugs. Okay, I am going to set him aside. I can't wait to get him finished. He is going to be so cool. Now, the book. Love the book. I mean, that really, I mean, I'm not kidding. It looks and it kind of even feels like rust, like on an old tractor or vehicle. You could just flick it right off. So, um... I had one of these done up, and I thought that would look good on there. I'm going to turn that that away so that y'all can see it. I hope that is not upside down. I hate do seeing stuff upside down. And then this is one that I thought about putting on here. And again, I use my gilding jewels on these. I just... No, no too big. And... I will just use my finger. Let's see. Let's do gold. Funny, y'all. I buy gold frames and I paint them and then I come back with gold gilding jewels. That's just crazy. I like that. And you know what? I wished, dog, I wish I'd have thought we could have done some decoupage on this. Uh, if I had some tissues, uh, napkins down here, I would right quick. And y'all, I use, I, do, I, can, I don't like Mod Podge, so I use Miss Lillian's Luster Top Coat to do my decoupage with. Uh, it's fabulous. And if you use um, scrapbook paper, you, I mean, I don't get any wrinkles. I mean, it just sucks it right up there. 
And this one has already got some silver on it, but I really want that gold on there. And y'all, it doesn't take much. And as much as I use, I use all the gilding jewels for um, stenciling. I use them um, for even blending a complete piece of furniture. And I'll bet you, I have, of course, I have about two of all. Um, I bet you I've had these for two years. That's how long they last. They last forever. Marty Carroll, my best bud from Louisiana. I love you. I sure do miss you. We used to um, do folk finishing together. Marty Carroll is the one that taught me how to do the gel stain finish on the cabinets. She's a fantastic finisher. Ooh, I kind of like that. Uh, the night. I don't know why. I guess I wasn't even really paying attention to what I was doing. But I like that. Added on there. The night. Isn't that pretty? Yep, I do. I like that. And I, I like this one. It's got some patina in it. So uh, we do have a patina. And I'm not going to change that because I like that. And then I had a key that I did. And let's see. You know what? I may leave that one that color. Hmm. That one needs something. This is pewter. Yep, that, that will be good on there. Kind of give it a sheen. Make it look like an old lock in the center. And then come back and highlight with the gold. Yes, I like that. Okay. And then I have a small key. He's going to be hard to do. Royal. No, I don't like that color. Where's my copper? Let's do some copper on that. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. You know what? I need copper on this, too. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to have to have copper on that, too. All right. I kind of like that. I may still try and find some uh, a napkin to add that, and you know what? I gotta add copper to that too. See, it's amazing. Uh, the more you play with the gilding jewels, how the colors play with each other, and you just get a complete. Oh yeah, I like that. That's good. That's good. I think I'm going to leave the gold on the uh, Florida de Lee there. Hmm. I said I wasn't going to do anything to that, but I know better than to say that. Yeah. Maybe a little gold. Oh, yeah. See, that made it look a lot older, so it did need that. So, okay. I'm going to leave that just like that. And again, I will use this to glue all of that on. And I will probably do something like this on the uh, binder there. So, but I just kind of wanted y'all to see a little bit of mixed media. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to move that up like that. So, uh, And for those of you that just joined, uh, you need to go back and see the horse head. He's really cool. I will show you right quick. See, isn't he cool? And if y'all want to know how to do the metalsmith finish, there is a video uh, that I just did on Miss Lynn's No Wax Chalk Paint page. And it's also on my page if you want to scroll down and watch. And this is the canvas that I did using the 
Miss Lillian. Oh, and she's having a sale, y'all, uh, on the Metal Smith. So, and I have the link up there. Y'all can hop over there and get some. I uh, love a sale. Can't beat it. Now, uh, I this is stencils. know something else I was going to do to the book, y'all. I knew I would forget. Okay, I'm going to bring the book back. Because I really think this is cool. I love this. I used this last night. So I would take all of this off. And look, isn't that cool? I love those. So, what color should I use? Copper? No, that's too much to the rust. Um, we will go with gold. And I usually offload. And you know, normally, I've already put it up, I use a stencil adhesive, but you know, now that I hardly ever, well, I don't ever use paint anymore with my stenciling, uh, because I use the gilding jewels and I don't have to worry about paint bleed. And I'm using the three different colors, just kind of blending it in. Oh yes. See that added just a little bit to that. Not a lot but just a little, and then say I wanted to come up here on this corner and do it. I didn't think about y'all not being able to see. Okay. And I'm not really particular about where I'm putting what color. I'm just putting it on. That's enough. And then put this back on. However, very cool. I like the diamonds, just the extra touch that it needed. So, and then I will put something like this on the edge over here and I think that'll be complete. And then I'll take uh, some jute and tie on and I think that I don't even think I'll do any decoupage I think that's all it needs okay now for the canvas I'm running out of room here and I hope that is tall enough for y'all to see uh, excuse my arm, I am going to raise that up just a hair. So, now then. I am going to, let me turn this sideways. And let me get these out of the way. Oh, I swear I just get that stuff everywhere. But I, I don't like wearing gloves either. Now, I wanted to do something a little different. And, uh, hey, Jackie. Hey, Leslie. Uh, I appreciate y'all stopping in. Um, you're going to have to go back, Jackie. <laughs> um, I get these at Harbor Freight. And a lot of times in the faux finishing days, I used, well, I went totally blank. Of what we called it. <clears throat> Can't believe that. I knew I'd do that. Um, anyway, you can get these at Harbor Freight, and I like it because you can bend them, okay? And if you need, you can add a little bit of heat to bend them, okay? And I'm going to be using Jennifer Ferguson, which I carry this as well. And it's like it has sand in it. Um, very cool product. And you know what? I really wished 
I knew where my scissors were because I would really prefer for that to be cut in half. So that's what I'm going to do. My other one is dirty. So, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this half to pull it out and put it on here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and I'm not going to go all over. This is going to be random. Um, it's very textural product. And then you can kind of see how I am. And you don't want to just keep, you want to move over. And if it rolls, that's okay. I like that. And then this, I don't. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to pull that up. See how that pulled that together right there? And see, I just took what was left and added just a little there. And this is kind of, not thick, but I, I'm still going to pull it down. I don't like the straight line. And then sometimes you can go crossways with it as well. I love doing these. And you know what? It doesn't take much either. So I'm just putting just a little on my trowel here. We're going to call it a trowel. And then I'm kind of starting this up there where y'all can kind of see. You can kind of see I'm not holding it flat. I'm kind of holding it up like this. And then as I come down, I can see whenever, and then I'm going to push my edge down. But, you know, that's okay that that's rolling because I can come back up just like that and say I don't like that, I can pull it to the side because I like that granular. Mm, that's a hard word to say. I like how that looks. And when I, let me turn this light on. I hope that y'all can see that good. I'm, it's hard for me to tell by looking up. All right, and this is really an easy product to work with. It's a lot of fun, and creativity is the key. You know, not being afraid, just jump in. You know what? If you don't like it, you can take it and you can scrape it up. You can wash it off, and you can start over. And I hope y'all can see that because I can't push it back any further. If I do, I'll knock my camera off. But again, this all this here was done with the Patina Metal Smith of Miss Lillian's. Y'all, I could play with that stuff all day long because it's amazing. The, and I see I had a straight line there and I didn't want that. So I got rid of it. And I think that's all I want there. So I'm going to scoot up here. And I'm not real happy about that line. So I'm kind of, kind of pull that over that way. Play with that just a little bit until I get it. There we go. That's not bad. But see, I'm pulling that off and it's leaving that like that. And that's what I want. And that right there is fine. Just not wanting a um, line. Martha Z. I would say the regular saying, but I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> Martha is also a finisher that I've had the wonderful pleasure of working with. Great gal.
Okay, you know what? I really got more there than what I wanted. So, I, because I want that to be seen, so I'm going to pull it off. And that's okay. That That's better. But I got a line right here, so I'm going to pull that up. And y'all can see, I'm almost halfway, and I've hardly used any product. I bet Martha's done gone. She's a busy woman. Marty is too. She must have been on break. She has retired from faux finishing, and I hated that. But she was good. Well, she's still good. <laughs> And I've got to go to Baton Rouge so I can see her. You know, y'all, time just gets away from us before we can ever get turned around. We really need to take the time to go and visit our friends and spend time with them. Oh, y'all, I'm really liking that. And actually, I may come back once this is dry, lay that stencil down on there, and do some stenciling over this to kind of give it that 3D effect. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. We'll see. And I have another idea. I don't know if I will do it or not, but we'll see. And if I do, I will post it. I get any on the edge I will come back with the cloth and just wipe that off but you can see I ended up with a little line there so I'm just gonna pull that back up but in the big scheme of things once I'm through you won't really even notice any of that but see how that just even though it rolled up, whenever I went back over it, it just laid it back down. And whenever Sarah and I at Southern Studio get a wall up to where we can, we're going to be teaching you wall finishes. Maybe you might want to do a powder bath in your house or... Um, backsplash in your kitchen and so we've been kind of toying with some new ideas okay I'm trying to make sure that I'm moving this I like that ripple right there. And this is also a very cool finish over foil. Uh, that would be a uh, finish that Sarah and I would show y'all uh, to do on a wall. Oops. That. All right, y'all. Let me, I think that is, I'm going to let this dry. And let me turn this up. And if y'all have any questions, I'll hop on and uh, answer them after a while, whenever we're done. But I really do like that. And I'm actually thinking about coming back and doing, whenever this is dry, uh, taking my burnt umber antiquing um, glaze, which is water-based, and starting up at the top and letting it run down. I think I'm going to do that. I've just got to wait until this dries. Or do I? Yeah, I better. <laughs> so, I don't want to push the envelope too hard this morning. So, and 
I am thinking about once that's dry, coming back in and laying that stencil on there like that. I really think I would like that in different areas and I may run it off of the edge, but I couldn't do it today because it's still wet. So we're gonna end it there and I may, thank you Candy, I really do appreciate that. That means a lot. Uh, but I am going to, whenever I come back, if y'all like, I may do another live and do the glaze and uh, do the stencil of the diamonds. I really think that would be very cool. So, I think that's it. <laughs> and I really do appreciate y'all watching and uh, any shares would be even more appreciated um, because without y'all watching and sharing and supporting, you know, I, w I may not be able to do this, but y'all, I, I would still try because I love to teach and y'all are worth it. So I appreciate it and y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.